Hello everybody, uh, welcome to this uh, devotional coming a little bit later than planned to you, not this morning but probably this afternoon and um, uh, we are one day away from Revive, can you believe it, it's, it's tomorrow and because it is tomorrow we have got a few people that have been doing a little bit of work in this space here, I'm going to give you a little tour in a minute. But I just wanted to say before we start, you know, that in Romans, Romans 15 verse 7, it says this, it says, therefore welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you. And hopefully over the next few days, we're going to be welcoming all sorts of people into this building, into this space, um, as they encounter uh, the love of Jesus in, in the preaching of the word, in the presence of the spirit and in the love of the community. But also hopefully in just the what they receive as they come in here, in the food and the drink, and you know even the state of the toilets it's all part of of the welcome you know of just making people feel at home we want people to feel really um comfortable and at ease as they come here so be praying for people um that you know they they do feel that as they come in and let's be warm and welcoming to them but part of that has been just you know give them this you know, a little foyer area, a little bit of a makeover, so people feel um, warm and welcome. So as you know, you might have seen the last few days, if you've not been to the building for a while, you might not have seen this, but we've added a little lounge area down here, very nice, even got a plant, uh, which may or may not be real. And then I'll give you a little preview, and this is like, <laughs> this is so exciting, because some of you may have never been in the men's toilet, and now you can come in. So um, we had Harry and Annette in yesterday, finishing off things, we've got a mirror on the wall, Tiled splashback, wallpaper, um, and even you know some of your toilet roll, which we didn't have before, um, and hooks and a little shelf for some extra toilet paper, which is really amazing. And then back out here, and I just nobody's in, so don't worry. I'm going to get to the ladies, but this is possibly controversial. Uh, but here we are. Look, wallpaper on the wall behind me. Doesn't that look good? And then uh, again, tile splashback. The ladies even get a plant, a plant in their um, in their toilet. And then yeah, mirror again, little shelf, toilet roll, that sort of thing. It looks incredible. New light fitting even up there. Yeah. Wow, very nice. And then through here, and the disabled toilet as well has also been given a little bit of a makeover. Um, which we painted this a little while ago, um, but there we have it. New tiles, etc., etc., etc. Very nice. So this has been the work of quite a few people. Um, I hope Church have chipped in, and you know, some of you were here sanding down this banister a few a few months ago and getting things ready and painting and decorating. So a massive thank you to everybody that's been involved. And oh, let's not forget the new look. We can now see uh, which toilet you're supposed to go in. I, did, I was joking with Andrew yesterday, I said that uh, some of you who have seen Andrew when he does his kind of storytelling thing on a Sunday morning, which is always great fun, I said this is Andrew on a normal Sunday, this is Andrew when he's telling a story, so he knows which toilet to use. Um, and then there we are, to say what a baby change. So as I said, you know, this uh, this might seem kind of trivial and, uh, you know, it's just one little thing in, you know, in, in the fabric of the building, but actually it's kind of important because we want people to come in here and for them to feel like they've, they've found something of a home. Um, and that's communicated in all sorts of different ways, prayerfully, primarily through the power of the Holy Spirit, but also through um, our welcome, the way that we love people through the drink and the food and the attention to detail. And so just to encourage you, you know, look at well, Harry and Annette been in here this week. Steve Ellishaw's been in today as well, doing a few little jobs. We've got people in here tonight setting up for um, for tomorrow. And, and just encouraging seeing so many people go the extra mile to make people feel really welcome and like just enjoy their time as they come and visit us over Revive. Um, so yeah, let's let's all adopt that. Let's pray for that attitude to seek free the rest of, of New Life Church of Hope Church. And, and as we welcome people in, just to be really generous and gracious and kind um, and, and welcome them as much as possible. So let me pray as we finish. Um, Father, I pray for people as they come in here that they would, Lord, feel that sense of welcome. Father, we thank you so much that as as that, that well that Christ Lord that you have through the person of Jesus this Easter have welcomed us um, 
into your family to know you, Lord, and, and adopted us as children. And, and we pray, Father, that that welcome that we receive based on no condition or merit of our own would be just echoed as people walking here, that no matter where they've come from, what they've done, no matter what their background is, they would feel truly and wonderfully welcomed and made at home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, that's it for, for, for me this, mo- this morning, this afternoon. Um, take care and hopefully see you tomorrow, nine o'clock in the morning. We've got a prayer meeting here, which will be the same on Friday and on Saturday. And then we're going to be, you know, going down to the marsh, doing the kids' work, youth work, out on the streets. There's a team, I think, going to be doing some work on the Marsh Community Centre as well. Very exciting. Um, and then back here tomorrow night for our first evening, thinking about this theme of rejection of course the rejection of Jesus experiences at the cross so that's it see you tomorrow